Hello and welcome to the Wayne State Coaches Show, an exclusive here on MyWayNews.com. I'm Mike Carnes. We're here to talk Wildcat Athletics. And when we come back, we'll talk with Wayne State women's basketball coach Brett Polari about the Wildcats' long weekend up in North Dakota. We'll do that after this time out right here on the Wayne State Coaches Show. The Coaches Show is sponsored by Pack and Save. Pack and Save is a proud supporter of Wildcat Athletics and is your one-stop shop for savings. Check out Pack and Save's excellent produce and find the best cuts in their grade A meat department. Be sure to stop at the Top Notch Deli where you can find their amazing fried chicken, daily lunch specials, and all the fixings for your next tailgate or viewing party. Pack and Save is open from 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week and their staff is waiting to help you for all of your grocery needs. Pack and Save, your one-stop shop for savings in Wayne, America. Go Cats! Hello and welcome back to the Wayne State Coaches Show on MyWayNews.com and we're talking with uh, Coach uh, Brett Polari. The Wildcats uh, on the road this past weekend uh, going up to Minot and uh, Mary and come away on the short end of both games. They lose 65-60 uh, on Friday night at uh, University of Mary and 69-64 on Saturday at uh, Minot State and Coach we were talking before the taping games that uh, were both games that uh, uh, were, were right there for you and, and uh, just couldn't uh, finish the deal on either one and uh, kind of kind of makes a long road trip a little longer. Oh, it was a rough road trip and getting home at 4.30 in the morning isn't, isn't the funnest thing. Um, but we we're coming off those uh, that short week. If you remember, we played Saturday, Sunday, had to give the team a day off, practice Tuesday, Wednesday, we're on the road Thursday already. So it was a tough week to prepare and um, it just makes it a little, little tougher mentally, I think, for our team. And both games, uh, the Wildcats uh, had to come from behind and, and uh, did a great job in, in, of uh, staying in the game until the very end. Friday night, they, they were down by 14 in the second half, but uh, got, uh, got as close as one point uh, uh, late in the ball game before uh, uh, University of Mary was able to put them away. Uh, Aaron Norling had 14 points and Brittany Bongertz had uh, 11 in that ballgame. Uh, Wildcats uh, didn't shoot very well from the floor, 30% from the floor and only 3 of 17 from three-point range. And I don't know if that's uh, because of the, the long road trip or, or what, but uh, uh, the girls did a fantastic job of, of uh, you know, when they were down big uh, to be able to battle back and, and uh, get it back into the game. Yeah, you know, we started off really poor in that first uh, first game, the first quarter. We And a lot of it's on me. I tried to get pretty... Uh, pretty in detail with our scheme um, and I think we had to overload and there was a little lack of focus could have been the road trip could have been the short week uh, we didn't play very well I, they scored 25 points in the first quarter um, and then we played our basketball the next three and I think if there's 20 30 seconds left we probably get that game um, with how we were playing and trapping and getting steals um, but you know missed a lot of layups missed free throws you miss layups and free throws it's gonna be tough to win but we still had a chance on Saturday, the Wildcats uh, uh, were actually leading late against uh, Minot State, but uh, the Beavers rallied and uh, closed out with a 69-64 win. Wayne State led by as many as 11 points in that game, and uh, uh, the uh, Wildcats uh, had uh, uh, had a great opportunity to put it put it out of reach. They were up by four with 1:35 to go, but uh, three turnovers helped the uh, Beavers rally and, and come away with the win. And, uh, and again, the situation there where, where if you if you take care of business at the end, then you come away with a win there. Just uh, just weren't able to get yeah. that done. Yeah, we were up 10 most of the game, and uh, they started chipping away, and we made a couple of mental mistakes, and they made some shots that they haven't been making all year, and we missed some of the shots that we, we made, and they made some plays at the end, and that was one that really hurt, and especially when you're coming back on a nine-hour bus drive back. Uh, you don't get those ones back, but... Um, Again, that, they're a good team, and they're playing people and beating people well right now as opposed to in the beginning of the year when they were getting beat by everybody. Aaron Norling scored 18 points in that ball game. Andrea Larson added 11. Uh, the Wildcats fell to 13-9 and nine overall and 8-8 eight and eight in the conference. And, and we're, again, we were talking beforehand about if you could have gotten one or both of these wins, uh, you'd be sitting in really good shape in the, uh, at the top of the South Division. And uh, uh, now, now we're kind of in the situation where a couple of games back. Still a little bit of season left to go, but... Uh, uh, it would have been, been nice to have, have gotten at least one there and, and uh, still been up, up near the top there. Yeah, you know, it's interesting how just one one miss layup, one rebound can in two different games can make the difference of being right at the top of the conference or being in the middle or middle third, bottom third. Um, and we just, those plays didn't go our way this week. Um, we need them to go our way next, hopefully. Yeah. Well, you got, uh, got the home cooking at least this weekend, uh, St. Cloud on Friday and Duluth on Saturday. Uh, traditionally, two teams that, that are, are, uh, are challenging uh, teams out of the North Division uh, should be an interesting weekend uh, here at home. Yeah, two very good defensive teams. I mean, they focus a lot on defense, um, long, athletic, just good, good solid teams that are playing well, um, playing the top in the, in the North here. So 
we got to get ready for them. You know, St. Cloud's, nobody's playing zone against them. I think before Upper Iowa just played them, they've only played 18 possessions of zone, uh, offense against defense. And obviously, we're probably going to have to run some zone. So we're breaking down things on tape, trying to figure out how we're going to uh, do things that other teams didn't do when they did play them against zone. All right. Well, hopefully, we can get, uh, get things turned around and get back on the winning track this week. Yep. All right. We'll take time out and have more here on Wayne State uh, Coaches Show right after this time out. The Coaches Show is sponsored by Pack and Save. Pack and Save is a proud supporter of Wildcat Athletics and is your one-stop shop for savings. Check out Pack and Save's excellent produce and find the best cuts in their grade A meat department. Be sure to stop at the Top Notch Deli where you can find their amazing fried chicken, daily lunch specials, and all the fixings for your next tailgate or viewing party. Pack and Save is open from 7.30 a.m. to 10 p.m. seven days a week and their staff is waiting to help you for all of your grocery needs. Pack and Save, your one one stop shop for savings in Wayne, America. Go Cats! Hello and welcome back to the Wayne State Coaches Show. And that's going to do it for another edition for this week. I want to thank our coaches for uh, sitting down and talking with us every week here on MyWayNews.com. We'll have another edition of the Wayne State Coaches Show coming up next week. So tune in then. And until then, this is Mike Carnes. We'll see you later.